I feel like the only two types of people who have the luxury to give away money, don't come for me, is um Don't come for me. Um drug dealers, scammers or oh, three people. Drug dealers, scammers, and um influencers. They get money the quickest. So that's facts. <laughs> I'm so mad I ain't do that PPP shit. <laughs> I swear. Niggas ain't, I was going too young, bro. niggas ain't going to jail, bro. I was trying to be safe. I was trying to be safe. And they said, oh, watch Joe Biden knock all y'all niggas up. Nobody going to jail. And I'm sitting here looking stupid. Shit, didn't they get would have catch my ass anyway. <laughs> That's what I was saying, too, nigga. Didn't get me $100,000. Hey, the people they like, caught just got a slap on the fucking wrist. And they go, take a month. They can't get a bank account. I don't give a fuck all this money. I swear. <laughs> I'm, I'm banned from making Mickey come for right now. Oh, shit. All right. Well, third. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna keep it a buck. That's why I'm scared of getting into scamming, bro. Fuck this shit. Up, bro. Shit, well, I never That's really why I'm scared of getting into scamming. I refuse to be in a position to not be able to open up. Yeah, that account. is that is my problem. Too, I gotta bro. do some whole extra shit just to get the block off my name, bro. <laughs> no, but think about how that sucks, nigga. That you bro. can't like you're 25 yeah. plus and you can't open up a bank account. Exactly. Coast, 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 coast. All my niggas, we coasting. High grade, we smoking on the highway, we rolling. rolling. Uh, welcome to Weed and Whiskey Podcast, the best motherfucking podcast coming straight from Connecticut. If you didn't know, I'm t- I love telling y'all. I'm saying I love telling y'all niggas. Yeah, We're the best know. motherfucking podcast that comes straight from CT. I don't care if they know. I want to keep telling y'all niggas because I feel good saying I'm the best. Me. We. I'm the best. Still. I just Callous. like to say that shit. Number one. I like to always say that shit. I don't care how, how many times, how many people hear that shit. I'm going to always tell y'all. We are the best. Why? What's the main reason why? Because we always because have we, the best fucking per- people on here. Yeah. No you bad. asked me that, then I didn't get no a chance bad. to answer. But it's okay. I'll, I'll keep it rolling, bro. Keep it I'm going. Just saying, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. the best people on here. We have the greatest personalities that ever come on here. Yeah. And a lot of motherfuckers wish that people can be as comfortable with you as they are when they come over here. Dog. But they're like, not because you suck. And you're mm-hmm. not the well-rounded person that you really think you are. But we are. Kudos yeah. to us. Culture, That's all I'm going to say. Take a puff for that. <laughs> <laughs> and to continue with that, we have the one of the we have a repeat of a great personality tonight. To be honest with you, and this man came in here with a whole new motherfucking confidence. Yeah, he's yeah. a whole different person, and again, his hair is done, which means he's coming to talk his motherfucking shit. Right. The last tape he dropped, he's been in his bag, as he can say, and he know it, and he know everybody else know it, and he's been showing it the whole goddamn time. We got Kai, I said it right, right? We got Kai 40 Cal in the motherfucking build. Yo, listen, I just, when it comes to pronouncing people names, I like to get it right. That's all I'm saying, dog. We have a great motherfucker in the building, man. Welcome back, dog. How you, you feeling, man? You know I had to man? double back on my guys, man. Nah, man. Nah, pause on that. That's all I'm going to say before you wait. Go on. <laughs> no double backing nah. on me. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I I didn't catch it at first, but then I did. That shit went right up here. Yeah. Then I shit did my tooth. <laughs> then I did. I was like, all right, well, that's not. I'm just gonna let that statement just slide, just like that. This ain't the electric <laughs> slide or the cha cha slide. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, welcome back, man. You are officially 21 years old. Facts. Yeah, we took a shot with you earlier. It's, it's legal. legal. <laughs> Fuck y'all, niggas, government. Suck how does dick. it feel? Is there any difference with how you do anything in life? Do you feel older? Do you feel more mature? Like, what came with turning twenty one? Shit, I just, I just was telling bro, like mm-hmm. that shit is, that shit was like a bittersweet feeling, cause you know how I was living. That shit, like, okay, I made it to twenty one. That shit felt like a um, what you call that shit? A, um, a achievement. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a, milestone. Like a, achie- a milestone. Yeah, yep, that's why I was really looking for a milestone. That shit felt like a milestone for real. At the same time, I be I felt like, damn, I'm not nowhere near where I want to be. I remember I was like 16. I told myself I'm gonna be rich by 21. Oh, we all did. Welcome to. Well, I mean, I'm like this shit came like this. Who, <laughs> those who want to. Yeah, welcome to. Fuck, but all right, let me ask this question real quick. Do you are you at the balance where you feel invincible, but you're also kind of feeling like you're not at the same time? Shit. I know I'm not invincible, but you got to carry it like you is type shit. Like, Because to me, when you're at that age of 21, between like the ages of like 19 to like 22, 23, depending on how you mature, 
I feel like that's the age of in, like mental invincibility. That's the age you're no, supposed I to feel like you're going to accomplish anything. My age anything. of uh, complete mental invincibility was like at like 16, 17, Oh, so it was younger. So you also like, you seem to uh, you seem to carry yourself a little bit differently, mm-hmm. right? And I've noticed that. Have you noticed a change between you and your peers? Me and my peers? Yeah. Yeah. So do you oh, look yeah. at, like, have you noticed a mental change or what is it? Shit. Shit, it's a lot of shit for real, for real. Like, I don't really want to, like, speak on it. No, nah, you ain't got to like, speak on nothing crazy. No, 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 no. But, like, it's there little things. Like, I would distance, say. Distance, you feel like any distance has been coming in with people that, like, you feel like. Not like, even that. Like, like perspectives. I, where I was coming at is, like. Just an example. Your friends like to go out. You like, I ain't. Oh yeah, no, that's a, that's a that's a prime example. But that's to me. That's, that's one of the yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the prime examples. Though, like hell no, like I don't go out no more at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's distance. True, yeah, like right. you feel like the way you see life and what you prioritize is starting to shift. That shit crazy because the whole time before I was 21, I'm paying extra to get in clubs just so I'm gonna show ID, a bunch of wild shit. Now that mm-hmm. I'm 21. I don't care about any of that shit, bro. You don't want to go no more. I don't want to go. It's out. It's outdated. I don't want to go. To me, it was more enticing. The club is more enticing when you're outside the club trying to get in. I like the outside of the club better. No, but when you're able to just get in with no, without no ease, it's not like it's like it's not as exciting no more. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sometimes like, an adventure is more adventurous because it's not accessible. Even before I turned 21, I was feeling like that about the clubs though. Before I turned 21, like, I've been No, like but this. I'm saying like when you're like 20, 19, the the club experience seem even more exciting. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not something that's accessible to you. Yeah, at it that was moment. like that. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It was like that. Yeah, but as you get older, not well. Well, like nineteen, like when I turned twenty, you wanted them different breeds though. Because yeah. like uh, when I was younger, nigga. Well, for me, actually, I'm lying. When I was like nineteen, twenty, it was for me. Like when I was sixteen, seventeen, that's when I was like the wild yeah. outside party yeah. house parties. Don't care if it was getting shoot up because I know I had my running shoes on type shit. T- you know. Now I just want to be take, take care of my kids, be wealthy. Do Nigga. the kid do the kids play a big part in your life as well as part like as part of your growth? How does that change? Nah, hell yeah, do they do? Because it's still a side of me that be like, it's still that side of me that young and dumb side. And you got daughters. But I be too. trying to keep that shit like, I be trying to keep that side far away like as much as I could. Do you look at the reality and just be like, damn, I'm 21 with kids? Hell that be yeah. hitting you. Hell yeah. Does that like, is it hit heavy? What? <laughs> what are the results? Like, what does, like, how does that affect you when thoughts like that hit you? Shit, it made me feel like I gotta really go 10 times harder because I'm not doing this shit for me. So it point. makes you feel like, do you feel like you had to mature quicker than you had to? Shit. Or do you feel like you're on a normal rate of I had maturity? A, I feel like I had to mature quicker than I had to before the kids. And then the kids just made it like, twice even as more, much. like, twice as much. Like, yeah, because life, going. yeah, the cars that life dealt you, you felt like you had you know? to be a man more than quicker than you had to. Kids just made it like, oh, hell, hell yeah, I can't be fucking around. You at prior- first, I wasn't like that, though, because you know how my kids, <laughs> young as hell. Yeah, that was so the first when when you first, have your kids? Wait. My first kid, I was 2020. I was 17. Oh, Ooh. your pull-up game was weak. <laughs> Like his, his I don't give a fuck game was strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the yeah. difference. I was 17 game. And at that time, I ain't gonna lie. When I had my first kid, I had my first kid, then boom. <clears throat> I had my first kid in 2020, and then I had got my my other being pregnant with my second kid at the like towards the end of 2020. Same time. Towards the end of 2020, because I had got locked, locked up in November 2020, so it was definitely before then. Like, so. Do niggas like to get their girls pregnant before they go to jail? Shit, that shit wasn't going to jail was in the plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's right. It that shouldn't shit, be. It, it shouldn't, shouldn't be. be. It but shouldn't no, be. I feel like when niggas know they about to either turn themselves in or about to go to jail. Though, I had to turn myself in, but it's like, I ain't know for sure, though. It was weird. Like, I was a juvenile at the time. So when I got arrested with everything, I got caught with a gun and drugs on me. So feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, if, once you yeah. get arrested with that, you going to jail, bro. Yeah. No matter. They the told age. me straight. They told me straight up, like we gonna give you a break tonight. You, we gonna let you go have um, dinner with your family. They told me just like that. Nigga said, "Have we your last?" Meal oh, bro. They said you gotta come to court though on this date. I remember everything. The date was November thirteenth. You Damn. gotta come to court on November thirteenth. Damn. They said nine times out of ten you're going to jail. I said just like that. 
But I'm just trying to keep high hopes like, nah, they ain't gonna take me to jail. <laughs> they ain't gonna take me to jail again. I'm straight. I'm walking that motherfucker. I'm straight. I went to court. They, the judge said, reading these charges, I'm surprised that I'm not already seeing him from a jumpsuit. Just like Damn. that. Damn. And just like that, didn't even. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. And just then when like you that, got out of jail, you kind of like made some changes because of the kids? Shit. Or just that's when I started to like you know you gotta crawl for you walk. Yeah, yeah. That's when I started to though for real for real. Okay. I'm like, cause when I was locked up, I missed my first daughter. Mind you, like I said, I just had got my my second being pregnant. My first daughter was like probably like six months when I got locked up. So burn when I was locked up, I missed her first birthday, her first Christmas, first Thanksgiving, first Easter, her first everything. Then you feel me? I missed her yeah, first yeah, everything. Yeah. Then. My second being pregnancy, I missed the whole shit. When I came home, my daughter was born two weeks later. Damn. Would you Were like you there for the, uh, my fault, my fault. No, Were you there? For the second one. I was there for both of them. I was there for all of them. All three I mean, of my were kids. you there for the second one, like, yeah, to hell, see the birth, though? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, nigga, that's tough. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. it is tough. That's tough. Fresh home, 17 years old with a baby. That's Two tough. babies. What was your first thought? I ain't gonna lie, my sh- I, that shit was fucked up, because when I was <laughs> locked up, I had just... Lost my little brother when I was locked up in, mm-hmm. on April 10th. So you was dealing with loss yeah. before all of this. So you lost your little brother, and in a sense, you kind of lost your freedom at the same time as well, too. I, was already, I, already, I had already lost my freedom. I was oh, locked oh, up. you was locked so up at the time. Yeah, okay. Well, I lost up. my little brother. And this happened. At like, happened. literally, like, six weeks before I Damn, came home. that got to be tough, my nigga. Then I came home. On the day that my daughter was born, I lost one of my other close friends Damn. on the same day. Literally, mm. one of my boys calling me, like, Cause my daughter being born in St. Francis, the emergency room from St. Francis across the street. My mm. boy called me like, bro, come over here, bro. Damn. Like, bro, mm. need you. Da, da, da. What do you my prioritize? My BM telling me, my BM telling me, don't leave me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What oh, do you bro. prioritize at that moment? Yeah, what do you do at that do moment? Do you prioritize I'm more than your friend or do you prioritize? At the, time, at the time, they was telling me like, oh, bro, it's, bro should be good. Feel me? Like, they telling me like, oh, bro should be good. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to stay with my daughter. Have time. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm stay with my daughter then. Nah, cause that's tough, nigga. Cause it's like, do you more do you go and be there for your friend, or do you be there for your daughter? Cause a lot of people find that as very conflicting. That is very com- that, that, conflicting. That, I ain't gonna lie. When once but, he like once he actually passed away, that shit was like that shit was hard, gang. Cause I had hurt. to I had to go. Be, now I'm like I gotta go be there for my boy. Now he going yeah. now. Now yeah. it's time for like for me. Yeah. Like, that's what that's when I was young and dumb at. Though, at the same time, cause I could have been on some shit. I could have went about it different. But I was on some shit like now it's like time to it's war time now. For me, my boy just died. You know. Uh-huh. Nah, but now you have my, life. But at the same time, I forgot what it was with my BM. It was something that something was wrong with her to like when I was when I left the hospital, she couldn't have the baby in the room with her mm. for some oh, okay. reason. I forgot what it was, but so that's why it's like she wanted a baby with her. I mm-hmm. kept leaving the hospital because bro was dead. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, and mm-hmm. Every time I left, they taking the baby. So Damn. she tripping on me like you keep leaving, Leave you keep leaving, taking yeah. my baby. So you was kind of just on the flow for. Other shit that was actually going on in your Mine life. ain't know what to do. I was trying to balance this shit. I'm like, I don't think no matter what age you are, you really know how to handle that when it's the first time. No facts. Nah, you don't. You don't. Especially a situation like that, cause yeah, I could. I was already in a panic when I already had my first kid. Like when I was there in the first like, but you have that and some another process to go through at the same time. That's tough. That's tough, dog. And and honestly, I feel like. To be able to make it out and still be the dad that you are, that makes you, I think that shows your strength even more on mm-hmm. some real shit. Because a lot of people fold under shit like that. <sighs> that shit crazy. I, I still feel like I got to be better. How do you take your mental health? I'm better, gang. Shit. <laughs> do you take time to process your day or your at least anything like, you, like you way that? after the fact? Way after the fact. Way after I lived the day. You know, da, 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 way after the fact. No, nah, but I mean, like, so what do you mean way after? What do you mean, like, at the end of the day or, like, weeks later? Shit, it could be at the end of the day. It fuck around, be weeks later. It could fuck around, be a month later. But you take time to process, though. Yeah. Okay. That's good, though, because you got to take time to process your emotions. I've honestly learned that from this guy right here. But I don't feel like I take time. Like, in the moment, hell no, though. Oh, I see me. But before the hand, hell, well, before hell, I'll try to. See me, yeah, nigga. Moment, that should get hard. I barely at the moment go too far without processing what the fuck happened, especially if it was a lot of a, like emotional exchange and that shit. And, and that's the big exchange. thing I've learned from you. On some real it's shit. not processing the emotions; it's doing Reflecting. it. When you read it at the mo- if you need it at that moment, bro, do it at the moment. Because at the time, fuck it. 
Because to me, my mental stability and mental sanity is the most important thing. I can't be there for anybody and be my best self if I don't have mental stability. Mm -hmm. So when something is going on in my life and it don't make sense, nothing else makes sense, which means I have to pause everything that I'm doing and take some time to like put everything into place and be like, all right, this is how I felt. This is why I felt this way. This is why I like, it just has to start making sense to me before I can start moving forward. So I prioritize like reflecting in the moment. Like I'm an in the moment person. Like that's come from like, my meditation um, practices from over the years, honestly. I'm not. I ain't gonna lie. Some shit I gotta work on. Not, I feel like it brings... I don't know if you want it. But I feel like uh, shit like that uh, is what makes you grow internally and make you enjoy it. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that a lot of people won't really understand. Like, and I get this. And I hate... I hate saying it to people because it makes me feel old. But it's that saying you just won't get it until you get older. Like, that, that saying really means a lot, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, certain things really come with experience and age, bro. Like, you can sit here and double down and try to drill something into somebody's head, but that doesn't mean they're going to get it because they're just not there in life yet. They won't get it. They won't get it. So that's why I just be like, you know what? I can sit here and, 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 and tell you how I do things, but I'm not going to force you how to do things how I do it because... Mm-hmm. That's not probably how you practice it or want to practice, or maybe it's in alignment of how you live life. Yeah. Damn, this segment got deep as fuck, dog. Damn, it did. Bro. It really did. Shit, it really did. Damn. It really did. Damn. Well, all right. I want to tap on some, a little bit um light in back into the music game real quick. Um, we had an artist that just dropped uh a uh, freestyle, and your name was mentioned in it. Who was the artist? Amaze. <laughs> uh, how um how to rob. Oh yeah, that's bro. Yeah, so you was mentioned in that's that. bro. Yeah, he said what was the artist? What was the artist? So what was the artist? So what, was the so artist? what if it wasn't him? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he here said who was the artist? Think what you mean? All right. So since it's coming from bro, what does that mean in terms of Connecticut music? Like, like, is that sparking a fire for all the names that he called to yeah, respond? Kind of. Like, well, I, don't, not, I don't know if it says respond, but I feel like it's more like if, like, if you in this, like, if you in this shit, like, even this shit, like, you know mm-hmm. what's going on in this shit, I feel like, like, yeah, that's more of that towards that. Like, you got to know what's going on in this shit. Too. Oh, like, so you have to have the insider mm-hmm. on what's really why, yeah, why those names are being called. Like, he really said some funny ass shit when he said my name. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so was there a phone call beforehand? Nah, bro. I heard this shit. Like, <laughs> this nigga crazy. So you just woke up and you hear re- your name. I had to rewind called. this shit like four times. Like, <laughs> you said this shit. You need to say this shit again. Nah, because, all right. Do you feel like, in terms of for Connecticut, I don't care anybody, I'm just asking this question. Do you feel like <laughs> that's kind of like what Kendrick did with the control verse? He's using this as an opportunity to spark a fire into Connecticut music music street mu- musical um ar- music artistry. No, for sure, for sure. That's, I said that. I said that's a that's a good move, bro. Did, but I can't respond to that shit though. Cause I know I like I don't know. I just can't respond to that shit though. Cause I can't. But my music like I can't. He ain't really sitting there like dissing me like. But if you know he know like I don't know. I can't explain this shit, bro. It's just it's, it's not it's for me like, to respond to though. It's look, it's like yeah, if y'all was in a room talking shit to each other. Yeah, it's me? bro. So it's like all right, I can talk. He gonna talk shit to me. Nothing for me to really respond to or make and make people be like, oh, maybe. But let's really, not forget. Let's not forget. Beef the my fault. My fault. Um, let's not forget. It's Fifty. How to rob? Exactly. That was a whole remake. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know 50, how this shit. Fifty go. took. He took Fifty's blueprint and took everybody's name from around where he's from and just said some shit about him. So, from the inside perspective, do you feel like there's anybody that would take it personally based off the names that he called? You don't have to say who specifically, but do you feel like there's anybody that would take it personally? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "He said Kai Forty Cal. That's my nigga, but he did so and so badly. The nigga who gonna take it personal is the nigga I did badly." <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So what he said about you, right? So what he said about you was that something that everybody already knew. Damn near everybody know. Like you in this shit, you know. Okay, all right. All so right. That's what okay. that's what he meant. Okay. Okay, that's what you meant by it's. It was for people who was in this shit. Yeah. 
Was there any? I, I really wanted to have this now. Comment. Probably now, probably even more people know though, because like there been little situation that went on outside that for me that made little like people get like a little gist of shit that's going on. Mm-hmm. But now that he said that, it's like okay, yeah, I know what he talking about. Okay, and that's why probably this happened back then and this happened then, shit that's, like that. So you so, so it was like a put two and two together type thing, you know? Mm. Yeah. But no, he funny as hell for that though. <laughs> do you feel like uh you said you already feel like you don't have to respond so i should have to answer that but why because like i technically he didn't really throw a shot at me the literally some shit like nah, 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 I, he did so and so badly that nigga try to run in my spot i'm gonna clap him or some shit like that like basically he tried to say like what he's in that bar he basically tried to say if if you, I if know, somebody do yeah. what he, what then, I did, I'm gonna, nigga, this is what gonna, I'm gonna he do. He gonna do the son of them. Okay, yeah. so that's how you took that. Though. So okay. I'm like, okay. okay, he ain't really saying that bad. He just making the shit be known now, but I don't so, give a fuck so, shit known or not. All right, so that goes, to, okay, that's, so that's my So question. out of sport. Uh, that's my question. But out of sport, out why of sport. won't you respond out of sport? Because it was just nothing to, like, <laughs> Is there a separate, so that's my thing, right? Yeah, so, this me game. Nobody did nothing to me. I did something to somebody. He put in a song. So nah, that's why I said the nigga I get who I did going to be, okay, be mad. But like, I'm only doubling down because when I asked you earlier, do you feel like this is like a control verse for, for the names that was called as a reason just to get in the booth? Yeah. Do you feel like this yeah, is Yeah, but sir, but shit he said about certain motherfuckers, what he said about me. It ain't the like, same. Nah, hell no. Okay, so some people should definitely be getting <laughs> in the booth to respond. Yeah, hell yeah, but, but not really though, because at the same time, I know he just fucking around. He not yeah, dead ass, yeah, like, yeah. you Everybody, he, damn it, everybody he mentioned, he cool with, like he fuck with. But that and that's what I, that's what I realized as well too. But that's why I realized somebody already has responded to him. Um. Uh. Yeah. I know. I, I seen that. My boy. My boy. Sixty. Yeah, my boy. 60 responded 60 already. Years, hell, I know he's gonna be the one to respond. <laughs> <laughs> and he cool with sixty two. Yeah. On game. I think he's all boys. Game. Like we all cool. Oh, bro. That's that's. Fun. That's, that's why I said this nigga funny as fuck, bro. Like. Like that, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. It's what you said that kind of makes it hard to have. I one. I wanted to have the conversation with him first before having a conversation with any other names that he called because I wanted to get where his head was at first. Mm-hmm. But um, it's hard to have these kind of conversation as a person from the outside because, like you said, you have to know to get it exactly. So if you don't know, on the outside, it looked like some shit can just be going off. It looked like some shit can be started. It looks like how to rob. Cause when Fifty did it, he didn't do it at that intention. As like I don't know, I don't know. Like you said, damn near everybody he did it, he cool with. So he might be some people on that list. He might not be. He might be doing real no, shots. That's probably. If, I don't know. I don't yep. shit. I don't really know, but I know like I don't know, gang. Well, my point was when Fifty. I don't want did nobody it. else to feel personal, but I know for sure me and Sixty, is thirty. You know, yeah, like that's yeah. really, we all gang, like we cool gang. But Fifty, when Fifty did it, he was like, man, fuck everybody. I'm about to come at niggas that I don't give a fuck about. But. In but that was the message that he was trying to send, but, like, just, like, I don't Basically, know. Basically, he was saying nobody's safe. To the outsiders, he was trying to send that message, like, fuck everybody, I'm on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do to get, you feel me? Yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. what, all get right. the heads turning. Let me ask this question, because I've seen a lot of people saying this. Is that CT music? Shit. Because a lot of people saying, this is what CT needed. What, what, this like, is some what, CT shit What type of music right is here. that, though? Like, what type of music is that you saying? Like, like the fuck everybody music? Like it, yeah, shit, that's my music shit, though. The gritty shit. That's my music. <laughs> yeah, that like, cause that's me though. Cause to me, you listen the... to my music. EBK, fuck everybody. <laughs> Every song, well, bro. I really, that's I started that shit, gang. Everybody to that trend and ran with it. Go back. But do, tell you. do you feel like that kind of like gets caught up in like, what's the best way to put it? Get caught up in how like the Chicago people have their run, because a lot of people saying like um. A lot of CT music gets get caught up and get all overshadowed because it's trying to reflect other the how other sounds. My shit don't sound like nobody shit or gay. Anybody tell you? So you everybody have a different... tell me that I so sound you... like me. I sound like me. I be hearing niggas using my act. No funny shit. I hear people use my shit, bro. I just don't be cocky and do the most. You hear me? Mm-hmm. But I hear it all the time. You're people use my shit, bro. You're a trendsetter. Yes, bro. People use my shit, gang. My ad libs, all that. I'd be like, damn. All right. So, with that being said, like, do you see men that's like twice your age who are basically bumping your lyrics in bars? Yeah. 
Okay. How do you feel about that? You like it? I mean, you're the artist, so I mean, I don't know. Like, when it comes to the older people, that shit made me feel good. Cause I know I be talking that shit like for the younger generation. You know, all that turn up wild gangster shit. What's your favorite moment uh, about being an artist? What do you have a favorite moment? I ain't gonna lie. My favorite moment when I be on. My favorite moment was. No, or B, because I performed a couple times and this shit happened. But my favorite moment be like when I be on stage and shit. And I don't ever got a rap shit. Everybody's the rapping crowd for going, you. The crowd mm. tweaking. They tweaking. Rapping that shit word for word. I don't got to say a word. That's the, mm. that's the like, dream right there. Gang. I'd be like, damn. Do you feel like your songs are actually easy to remember and easy to recite? Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you do it on purpose? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I was just in the studio the other day. And like when how I rap, like I be rapping. Well, most of the time how I be how I be rapping, I be rapping fast. Mm-hmm. But like, like my speech a little bit fucked up. Like I be stuttering over words and shit, even when I'm talking regular. But when I be in the studio doing that shit, I'm gonna be trying to fix it. I just said that shit the other day. I'm like, I be wanting people to know, be like, damn, what the fuck he just said? Let's run that shit back one more time to see what the fuck he said. I Capitalize that for imperfections. You know, nothing wrong with like, that. Even like. Like how Ry- Rilo Rodriguez, you know yeah. that is? How he rap, motherfuckers don't be knowing what the fuck he be saying damn near most of the time. That's how I be like, yeah, I'm a motherfucker be like, what the fuck is he saying sometimes? But <laughs> it's I don't cool. want the shit to be too perfect, gang. That's how I don't know. I don't know if it's so weird So imperfection not. is your perfection? Yes, well, bro. That's a, different, that's a different approach. That's Natural, a different that's- naturally. This shit come out naturally, gang. However it come out, that's how I don't get it. But that's artistic. You ever thought about instruments? Nah. <laughs> nah, I go lie. When I was little, my mom tried to put me into piano lessons and guitar lessons. But, you know, I'm a knucklehead. I don't fuck that shit. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Trust me. But my dad she tried to put me into like that shit, but I was always into music, though. That's why. My dad used to press me like four years of forced me but to go to artists. lessons, though, I'm just boring as fuck. You went to Artist Collective? Nah. Oh, I did, shit. Ain't I no did. One. I did. I tried to learn to play the saxophone. Failed. I was on honor roll, bro. Only class I felt was history because that shit was boring. History was boring? I used to go in that shit and go to sleep. You really that was the, that was my bro, favorite a, class. No funny shit. I had a twelve percent. Why is history boring for you though? This shit is boring, bro. History is the most exciting thing in the, in, in school. I like in to school. know what happened. I and I used to do this. I, I used mean, to go I, in the nah, front of the book and talk about I slavery to, in class. I used to not do my work and shit in there, but I used to listen because I really know shit. I don't really know shit about our history. So for me, I used to listen though. That's one thing about me. I, mean, I, used, to, I, I used to go in front of the book. Oh, I'm always listening. What was the Constitution? I don't know about all that. You know though, you just said I just you know. know the people: Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, <laughs> Malcolm X, Rosa Parks. Yeah, all nah, the. Nah, he said the Constitution. All the factors: Abraham Lincoln, stop slavery, um, sixteenth president, all that wild shit. First president. Just, I know the. I know the. That basic nigga didn't shit. stop slavery. Nigga. That nigga just converted. <laughs> he helped it. He just converted. Slavery. He helped it, bro. He, he just, just converted slavery to capitalism. Well, whatever. He, he, <laughs> he just converted slavery. The to white prison. teachers in school used to tell us that he stopped it. He didn't. That man didn't stop sleeping. Bro, when they got to the point where it was like high school where you had to go in there and they would talk about just starting the book in the middle of the book. I'm like, yo, why are y'all skipping everything? And they would be like, it's not a part of our lesson plan. Y'all used to never even open that bitch. Fuck history. Nigga, I heard they don't even t- um teach that. They don't teach slavery in school no more. I'm about to say, no, nah, they bought to. In 2025, they about to stop history, I think, period. They going to stop teaching like, history? African-American history, rather. Oh, you're cool with that, huh? That have no... That shit don't got nothing to do with me. Nigga, I'm scared of that, bro. You gonna tell yeah, me... I mean, like, nah, I'm not cool with it, but like, I'm saying that shit don't got nothing to do Nigga, with me, Nigga, they have bro. to do with you a lot. You that have shit. kids. You're right, but... History repeats itself. I'm gonna have to teach them. You I'm barely saying. know it. <laughs> 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 what the fuck you gonna teach them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you got a point. Oh, bro. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, now nah, you got to know history, bro. You got to know I just history. asked the nigga when the Constitution was signed. He just said, I don't know, but I'm going to go teach my daughter's history. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> give me a break, man. <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm trying to have you give your offsprings a break, nigga. <laughs> they don't need you teaching them give history. <laughs> They can make it seem like there's a fucking Kit Kat bar in this bitch. Shit, I done <laughs> forgot where the Constitution was signed. Fuck. You don't know the supposed date of the Constitution it's being July signed? July 4th. When the fuck? It actually uh, didn't get signed July. July. It actually did not get signed. That's July what I'm saying. 4th. The supposed date. I actually got signed on July 5th or some shit like that. It was in, I think, if I'm not You're mistaken. You talking about the Boston Tea Party? No. Wait. 
The Boston Tea Party, man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell <laughs> no, no, you something. No, 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 no. I know about all that shit, though. Who know about that? What nigga you want to what, what was the slogan for the Boston Tea Party? Bro, they didn't teach me the slogan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know Paul Revere is? I think so. I know who Christopher Columbus is. Fuck what that, was his dude. slogan? What was he known for? What is Paul Revere known for saying? Christopher Columbus, I heard he was known for sex trafficking. I mean, you ain't wrong with that. But what was Paul Revere known for saying? The British are coming. Oh, yeah, that's the nigga on the horse. (laughs) Yeah. Facts. What a broad know about Paul Revere. That's the nigga on the horse. Paul Revere. You just got me. (laughs) Facts. Nigga, man, it sounded like he was a basketball player. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Paul Revere. I think he had 16 points a game. (laughs) Five assists. I read a whole book on Paul Revere. Facts, I did. Oh, my God. All right. All right, let me ask this. Why did, who, how do I ask this? Why did China build the Great Wall? Who were they trying to protect themselves from? Us. Mm. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. This is better than math. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I don't stump you on this motherfucker. <laughs> this is way right, better. The Great Wall was built in sections, I'm testing though. my own shit now. It's Mongols. Well, fuck, well, Mongolians. Mon- the See, Mongols. that's fucked up, though. You testing your own shit, you can't be doing that. Because I told you I got I'm a 12. I'm you shit I know. I told you I got 12% in that motherfucker. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you got to ask me the basic shit, bro. Right, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got, thought that. I got you some basics. What current president are we on? What current president? What number? Um, oh, Barack Obama was 44. Donald Trump was 45. 46. Is it? Or 48? 47, 46 or 47. Facts. It's 48. But it's 48, oh. right? Because we had Obama twice. Oh, right? no. We had Obama twice. and we had, No, we only had Trump, Trump once. But yeah. no, facts. We had Obama it's, twice. It's facts. Right? Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. I got it right. Oh, shit. Okay. But I don't, that's because I wasn't counting the twice shit. I don't know. All right. I'm trying Let's to think see. of some, like, some... Last state, last state in the Union. In what? In what, the Union. What the fuck in is the Union? Union? I mean, not Connecticut. Why I say Connecticut? Not, I mean, why in I say the co- Union? In the last co- last, last state to join the United States. Virginia? No, I like this one. Puerto Rico. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rico was conquered. <laughs> close. close. I mean, I mean it could have been. No, I think it's why. Ask a question that you get it actually verified. God damn. I'm trying to it's the baby. The, the basics, bro. The basics. Alright, the basics. Alright, yeah, the basics. All right. The uh the year World War Two ended. That's the easy one. Forty two? I'm done. Forty five. I'm done. I'll give up. <laughs> How many world wars do we have? Two. <laughs> might be it might be three. Hold it up, hold, put your seatbelt on. Come on now, man. I ain't Somebody. that dumb. I ain't that's you oh, you don't know that. You don't know that, you stupid. Hey, bro. Oh my god. I ain't gonna lie. Now you're making me question my own history knowledge now, dog. What do I really know? I'm just trying to think of questions. Know. That's why I told you I ain't pay attention. You know what the subject I, I failed in um high school? I had to repeat and as a senior. Spanish. No, I was actually pretty good at Spanish, actually. It was geography. Ge- oh, I was to say geography. It was geography. Ge- yep. Suck easy. at geography. I hated that shit. I had to. I had to. Suck I had to tell my bro. counselor, "Get me the fuck out this shit. This shit not right. <laughs> this shit make no sense." That was the easiest class. What? How? Shapes in math? Yeah, geog- math geography. was the easiest. Math is easy, but geography. Geography. Oh, geometry. Not geography. Geometry was super easy. Oh, see, now I ain't with you. That's on the that. geography. Oh no, geography is that world shit. And shit yeah, right the right. maps and shit. Yeah. I ain't yeah, never had that. That. that was easy. I ain't never had that. that. Literally was probably easy. I ain't had that. Nigga, the only states I can look at a map and tell you without the words being in it, <clears throat> California, Texas, Connecticut, of course, Rhode Island, because it looked like a boot. I probably could name <clears throat> all the 50 states. It's going to take me a little oh, second, I though. That. I don't even remember the song to name that shit. I just know the song. I don't know the song. I don't even know it was a song. Oh, there's a whole, there's a song. You see, that's shown the age difference. That's shown the age Is difference. Is that a cursive? No. In school? I learned that in um, <clears throat> elementary school. No. I ain't learned no. Nigga, I barely learned cursive in yeah, school. Yeah, one time in third grade. Like, we ain't learned no fucking cursive in school, nigga. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, I miss school. No, I got, a more, I got an important question for you real quick. Do you believe in gender roles? Gender roles? Yes. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a great question. You know what? I like that answer because that means... He don't. It doesn't even mean... It doesn't, yeah, it means he don't. No, do you believe does. that? Do you believe that certain roles belong to certain genders? 
Like taking the trash like, out and laundry. Like, yeah, facts. I do. <laughs> that means he does, nigga. I do. <laughs> that means he does believe in general. I do. I like that answer. I'm not washing no dishes, <laughs> folks. I'm taking out the trash. <laughs> Baby, don't touch the trash. I'm taking it out. It's all, it's all good. So you I'm do your job that. as a man and you expect a woman to do her job as a woman. Facts. Yes. I'm bro. Okay. Like, all right. But- what's normal to like, like, I was just about to say like providing. I feel like that's a man rule. Like it's cool if a woman do it. Like if she like when you not off your when like, when you not on your feet and shit. Yeah, yeah you got to put to have a ride or die. I put the let me pick up your slack. But in general, like how life supposed to go, I feel like the male put the should he pay the, all the bills? I feel like the king. Is, I mean, if he if he got her to do that, yes. But what if he don't? If not, then you supposed to be a real enough female to work with him. You know, if you really fuck with that man and love that man, then should a man stay single because he can't pay all the bills? Um, I'm gonna keep it a gang. I'm gonna keep it gangster. Hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I mean, cause y'all, cause no, no, cause, yeah, yeah. cause especially what, especially with how the generation yeah. is, gang. Hell yeah. We might as well. Gang. Hell yeah. Like, gang, you. if you can't take care of yourself, you ain't gonna be able to take care of nobody, nobody. else, folks. Like, nah, but taking care of yourself and taking care of a whole household is two different things. It is, but I'm saying, like, if a, but I'm saying, if a nigga can't even take care of himself first, yeah, if you're struggling with that, bro, then it's yeah. over. Stay with. single, my nigga. You feel me? Like, stay single. It's over. With. Cause these girls are demanding as fuck. Demanding. Yeah, you gonna get stressed. And then when you think they aren't demanding, when you get with them. I ain't even lie. My girl not even my girl not even really de- my girl not even really demanded, but females is needy as hell. Yeah, as general, in general. Like, she's not demanding, bad. but she always needs something for me. And I feel like as a man, I gotta come through. Yo, All but- right, let me wait, wait. I I have a quick question for you, real quick, right? When situations like that, do you feel like men have room to be emotionally vulnerable in times like that? Because like you said, women are needy, especially emotionally. Do you feel like women are go go through their emotions so much that you don't have much room to really show yours? <clears throat> um, yeah, I could be feeling like, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You do you? I'm, I'm not. A, do you feel like that? Hell yeah, hell again. Yeah. Do you feel like when you're in a relationship because women especially are needy emotionally? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like when they're venting and listening and you're listening to them? Do you feel like that withdraws you from expressing yourself more to them? Because you don't feel not like you have the room. Not even expressing myself more to them, but I feel like sometimes I gotta like what I'm whatever you I'm going through. You can't show it. You can't always show through, it. I gotta eat that shit because you can't show if it. she going through something at the same time I'm going through something. Exactly. I gotta eat that shit. Exactly. That's, That's what, what I, I mean. Like. You feel me? I've been married for five years right now, and at this point in my marriage, I learned that when she's going through this time, I don't know what's going on, so I'm ignoring everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to get to your stage. I can't wait to get to your stage in the game. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say some like she watched this profound too. shit. <laughs> but yeah, I just I, I, I'm blanked out everything. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting to that point. And, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'll be like the first half of it. I'll be. I'll be. I'll it's because you learn. Then I just feed into that shit. You want to know what 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 was I ain't the no pointless stories? No, nah, but you know you know what really said it like triggered it for me. My girl snapped at me one time when I tried to calm her down. Bro, I learned. Matter of fact, matter of fact, just yes, this last night, uh-huh. my girl was just mad about something going on with her mom, whatever. Again, she was mad about something. I'm the, but yesterday was my bro death date. Him and his two year death date. So, I'm so you friend, got your own shit I'm too. I'm a little bit about this shit, <laughs> but then my girl start. Going through what she going through, she get so you like it. damn, I can't she even go there. She's wilding. I'm just all right, fuck it. I ain't even. I'm about to just play it down. Go to this side. <laughs> like, listen to her. I ain't even gonna tell her calm down. Nothing. No, I'm just say nothing. get everything off your chest. Go ahead. You gotta baby. be strong. Go you gotta be tough, go masculine. I'm like, you. I'm yeah, I got you. Yeah, just hold her. And meanwhile, you want to be held the whole fucking time. She get like that. <laughs> Yo, she was just sad or not? She was mad. Nigga, she get mad. She get the tweaking. I felt that, bro. I, I felt that. I felt that. I say not nothing. I just. Like, I tried to tell my girl she something the, the other day, nigga. Fuck everybody. Everybody weird. I'm in my head oh, like, so damn, she, everybody so even me? So she like the music you make. <laughs> I'm like, damn, even me? I'm trying to comfort you. I'm weird now. I'm, I'm like, nigga, damn. my girl told me shut up the other day when I tried to tell her something logical, nigga. Yo, I, she, said, she said shut up. And I just, I did. I did. I didn't know what else to do, nigga. I felt like if I said anything after that, nigga, I would have I, I had my, hand, my head handed to me. Fuck that. This is a bad session. My wife tell me to shut the fuck up all the time. All the time. And she'd be like, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck do you mean shut the fuck up? Like what I do. Like what I do to you. It just, yeah. Yeah. Your girl just and, takes their frustrations out on you, bro. All the time. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't even realize I mean, sometimes it. Sometimes I do it to her too. Sometimes. Not all the time. 
Mm-hmm. But sometimes I'll slip up, you know? I'm exactly. You hear the key word? Slip up. Sometimes you, you slip up. You're already conditioned <laughs> to realize everything is your fault. But then you slip up and get mad. How do you slip up and get mad if she did something wrong? I you hear that, right? Yeah, yeah. When we drop this bitch, I'm tagging her. Yeah. yeah. You hear that? No, I'm putting this in as I'm a clip. Her, this how bitch. You, how you, Matter of fact, make this a exactly. make this a highlight reel. You've been walk. You've been doing everything you were supposed to do, but the one time you yeah. didn't, you mm, slipped bro. up. No, no, it's not the one time you didn't. It's the one time she didn't do something, and you got upset mm. about it. And now you, mm, she's bro. still mad at you. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be tweaking, but like, but I be like, still, like, if that was my initial reaction. I apologize for that, but so be it. What the fuck? You the one who wrong. Yeah, let's like, move human. on. I'm a human. I shouldn't even be apologizing. I'm a human, gang. Like, like, I move on every time you do some shit. My, I move on. my initial reaction be my initial reaction. I'm a human, gang. I got shit to work with. I'm not about to do Every time, I'm not about to be like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. fuck it. Like, that Facts. shit's in the rug. Help. Somehow, I'm going to tweak. You all right, all right, all right. Question for, for the men in the room, because I hope we're all men in the room. Um, I identify as <laughs> <laughs> um, do you feel like you're supposed to apologize every time you're wrong, even if it's not a huge mistake? Do you feel like you have to verbally apologize every time? I feel like any time that... I don't know. Any time she feel like... like I know I know my girl, so like any time she give me the vibe like, oh, you OD wrong or something, it could be something little sometimes that she'll just give me the vibe like I'm OD wrong about it. I feel like I might have to apologize. You have to say I'm sorry? In, in a way, like, I don't... I no, I'm saying say, you... Like, I'm talking about... Do you feel like you have to blatantly say the word, either I apologize <coughs> for, bless you, for this and this, Good. or I'm sorry for such and do you feel like you have to say that every time you feel like you didn't do the right thing, no matter how big it is, even if it's small things? No, no not really. And she made me feel like that in the end, but other than that, not really. What e- about you? Even sometimes when she made me feel like that, I ain't gonna hold you. I'll be like, I'll be like, yo, I was tweaking. I ain't, like... <laughs> This other day we was arguing. She said, "You ain't say sorry for da da da." I said, "What the fuck? What the fuck I'm supposed to say? Take, <laughs> take backs?" I say sorry, but I say it in the way that's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Goddamn, that's what you wanted." That's what, that. Yeah, there we go. I'll say sorry you in good? other words, though. Like, <laughs> like it's, you know, like, but we've been like, we we cannot leave each other, right? We are at that point. We are we are one, and it's not a separation thing. It's not a question of what we're gonna do. We are married with children. You better figure all this shit out. That's so at weird. this point, we talk to each other like whatever. Is that? Is, is that just I be your like fucking we're self. 60. I feel like we're 60. I just like, yo, shut the fuck up. And she's like, you shut the fuck up. And then we're like, all right, later. We're like, yo, listen, I didn't mean to say that to you because we just love each other. We were fucking. <laughs> but let's hug it out. We're going to fuck later. And we're going to get it over with. That's we weird. good, all right? We married. Let's, let's, let's hug it out. It's a union. But we, at this point, I still got to say what the fuck I feel because I... Get it out. Yeah. Real bro. But I also, like you said, I just let her just sh- I just let her go and I don't I ignore her. You gotta but, know when to just ignore your girl. Yeah. Again, I be trying. I be ignoring her for a long time. But don't ignore then her. She just don't stop. You gotta know when. You gotta give the balance of how to ignore, but enough to still give attention. Exactly. You can't be too ignored. Yes, you, you can't just hit be like, "Oh, that's crazy." Well, we sitting here talking. We sitting here talking pure shit. Talking dirty, all that. Want me to feed into it, and I'm just not saying nothing back to you talk to me. What the fuck you want me to say? You want me to sit here and call you a bitch? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Say fuck you and do, 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 all this that other shit. That is what they want. You know, if you do instead, I'm, I got you. Bro. I got you. Oh, you feel me, gang? You just, you, all you do is just be a smart ass, bro. I'm yeah, that's shit. People keep being mad, but you're going to get through it eventually. Like, yo, listen, I understand you upset. What it be? But look, no, I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. Listen. Got you. Bro, you don't understand, bro. You ignore you wrong. You start, you feed into it, you even wrong. Bro, I'm telling you, I oh, know, bro. bro. Listen, you're talking about my, I don't know. You heard what my wife had did. She had gangster, bro. She don't play no shit. So I've had to shit. learn ways to maneuver. Yo, you, you straight up, you stay calm. I understand. I know how hard it is to stay calm. Because I'm a very calm person until I'm not a calm person. Right? Bro. But you got to, yo, I understand you're upset right now. <laughs> But I don't want to say nothing until, until yeah. we can have a real conversation. That, that's what exactly what I was repeat, about to say. You got to repeat it. You got to repeat it. I promise you got to repeat it. Yo, I understand you're upset right now, but we can't, I can't say anything until you have, we have a real conversation. See, I, see, my way of going it is I'll be like, I'm not going to talk until you calm down. I'll just walk away. Man, I'll sit there be quiet, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. <clears> that makes it worse. Until I get to the point, I'll be like, that shut the worse. fuck up. Stop that makes it worse. talking. But that's what caused that in you. Yeah, bro. that makes it worse. You just have to be like, listen. I don't think we're being able to be able to have that conversation right now. 
So I'm gonna just wait till you calm down, and we're gonna talk later. And because what that does for you as well is not it doesn't. She's gonna be mad at you saying that because you're so calm. But it's gonna make so much sense it. when she. Yeah, she can't be mad at you in the long run. She can't be mad at you in the long run unless and, she's just a mad bitch. And what's gonna do for you also? It's gonna be it's gonna be so much ego driven at the point where you keep saying that shit to her and you realize it's getting to her <clears> and you realize you're right and you're gonna be like, damn, bro, so I keep saying this to her because until we calm down, until we you can't have a conversation, can fuck up and I could talk for you a second. Can't have a conversation. Not have a conversation. It's just you are just bleeding your emotion onto me. As long as you stay quiet, bro, you just going to soak that shit in. You just be like, man, fuck this. We're going to start yelling. That's how it be every time. I know, nigga. I know. Every nigga, I've been married for five years. You have a room that you could ex- escape to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. You just got to go in your room. Just go to your room by yourself and then do what you got to do. Pass follow me in that motherfucker. I'll lock that bitch. Lock you get that bitch Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Open the fucking door. You got to sit in her face, bro. You got to sit in her face and let her realize how stupid you like. You got to be calm. You have to be that way. Because at the end of the day, the way I like to put it is, who's going to be the logic in the situation? If I'm mad or quiet, who's going to be the person who has she has the conversation? Who's going to be the person to talk? It takes two to talk. Yeah, but if you just yelling and you mad as fuck, I can't talk. And I don't try to. And I don't want to. Yeah, at that point, what the fuck am I talking for? And if I just sit there quiet, I'm not getting nothing out. So I'm just feed. I'm just, it's just, it's just building up on my brain. And then you just explode. So as long as you get to say something, and you can say something very calm, and you build your confidence while you're saying that, just like, yo, listen, I can't talk right now. You wild. You can say every, every way you want to, but just be calm about it. Just like, yo, you bugging. I can't talk. I can't do it. You're bugging. Yeah, that's always my approach is the logical approach. Because at the end of the day, sitting and tr- yelling does not go anywhere. I don't, I, I don't know, me, I don't like going to bed, like Neo said, I don't like going to bed angry, I don't like going to bed mad. I don't mad. I don't, bro, as I get older, nigga, I don't like being mad I about things I can't even go word to my mother, I can't go to bed, go to bed mad. I don't like it, bro, it's not I a good feeling. I'll bust a I'll be, uh, Yo, I'll be up the whole time. I ain't gonna lie, I get the right music pissing me and shit. Off, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be beneficial though when me and my girl arguing, because I'll be like, I'll just be up all night and I'll still get the right music. And you don't have to then be bothered. Start, I'll be start talking shit about, like, I'll say some hard ass bars about a bitch and son. You ever like, dissed your girl before? What a, my, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna say it because she going to fucking around with your bitch. Wow, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I don't even care. I don't even care, bro. real shit. The last song, and she was with me in the studio when I made this shit inside the booth with me. A bar I said. I was t- I was like Loki just talking about her because we were just arguing the night before. But I'm like, I said some shit like, I said some shit like, son, son, but I don't like bitches that fuss or bitches that nag. <laughs> I looked at. Am I, am I Do you plan on having a family? Hell yeah, that's why. I ain't. Yeah, all right. So why you might as well get that out your brain? What? Nagging? No, I know. Oh yeah. I was just talking shit. In my that's why I said come with this, come with pros, cause that's a bar that a lot of niggas gonna relate to. They gonna play that bitch a hundred times. But it was personal. Yeah. I like, the, I like the fact that you young and you in tune with your relationship at that moment. Bro. Nah, so I, like shit. I, like I love it. that. It's it's. I wasn't. Yeah. What nigga? Yeah, your age. I'm an old soul, bro. I'm an old soul, bro. At 15, 16. Nigga, I was too, but at your age, nigga. Nah, fuck that. From thirteen for real, bro. Thirteen, I really jumped off the porch for real, for real, bro. Like. I was really just yeah, outside see, I bugging. was stuck between being a child and being a hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 13, game, I was outside. I was too, nigga. Yeah, but y'all outside. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, outside. outside was different. <laughs> yeah, outside at 13, was... my outside was not. We are outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, exactly, my leash exactly. was just extended at the age of like 13, 14. I was just finally able to leave the yard without parental advice. I'm going to lie, I still was living a double life at the time and shit like that. Like, I let my mom know a lot of shit, like, hide this shit from my mom and shit. <laughs> like, I, I had shit from my mom until I probably, like, it didn't last long. I jumped off the porch when I was, like, 13. I completely, like, all the way jumped off the porch, like, all the way fully at, like, 15, 16. But around that time, that's when I start, stopped hiding shit from my mom, though. So at that, at that how do you point. Mind, how do you mind feel about the things that, um, feel about your music? And the things that you say in the music, in your music. <laughs> Works with everything. She called me like two weeks ago. She called me. Cause, and one of my songs, I said some shit. He said, oh, I said, remember I was broke wearing two hoodies for a coat. 
She called me. She said, what is you talking about? <laughs> she said, when did you ever have to wear two hoodies to have a coat? Was, I said, facts, I had to wear two hoodies for a coat. Like, you don't, like, facts, I did. Like, <laughs> they don't got nothing to do with you. It was once I was off the porch already outside. For real, for real. Thing, I'm not talking about when you was, you me? Know what life was Yeah, you feel me? She tweeted. So your mom was pretty much learning about you through your music. Yeah, but not, not, not really because she, like, I don't know. Dude. She learned about your second life through your music. Yeah, because she ain't know. Not even like, because before my music, I stopped hiding. I've been, I stopped, I just stopped, stopped rapping. I've been stopped hiding that shit from my mom, dude. Like 15, 16, and I fully, that's when I say I fully got into this shit and I stopped hiding shit from my mom because that's when I told the point. Like, but right. what, what do you mean stop hiding shit? She, I mean, she might Bro, I used to work. play sports I mean, and shit, bro. No, like, she, you feel me? She might like, my mom used to be in my eyes. I used to be out, like, when I was 13, I said I did other port. That's when the point time I, I just start first coming outside a lot, feel me? Start doing little shit, sneaky shit. And my mom right. used to be on my ass, like, get your ass in this house, where you at? You know, I had to, I had to do shit, like, turn my phone off, lie, have my, be bro, a teenager. Have my bros get on the phone, Love lie it. for me. Yeah, being a teenager. Like that, well, all right, so now that your mom is in the play, right, let's let's revisit that, that the, the how we opened up the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. So, 17, you're going to jail. 17, I'm all the way off the push. No, she... 17, you're going to jail, <laughs> and and you're having your, your first, you're having your kids. How did your mom react to this? I ain't gonna lie, my first time, my mom found out I was pregnant. My, my dad, my first being was pregnant. I ain't, she never tripped. I don't know, that's one thing. That's, that's, that's why that's my best friend game. It don't matter if I'm completely wrong. She gonna tell she me. Gonna like, she gonna tell me that I'm wrong, but she not gonna like. She don't make me feel inside. guilty about the shit. You feel me? Like she made me feel like everything gonna be all right at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. That's how she made me feel. She, like, she got your back. Anything, a month for no funny shit. Somebody could call my mom right now. Your son is killed. 20 people for no reason. She gonna tell me, why the fuck would you do that? You know, bro, you should never did that. You know, she gonna be like, uh, she's just gonna comfort me in some way to make me feel like, so out of this shit, you feel me? Out of this shit, bro, we gonna, I'm um, with you. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't know, bro. <laughs> if my kid come to me and say they just killed 20 people, I would be scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I say that's I'm why, not gonna lie, bro. That's why I love my mom, though, cause she I don't know scared, what I'm scared she, of. But I will be scared at that moment. She gonna come here, baby. I got you. You you, you crazy. You doing the wrong shit. But I got you. Feel me? That's how she is. Yeah. I might do the same thing with my kid. Like you going to jail, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm not letting you live in my house, nigga. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'll be scared of something. Like I, I, might some I get friends. the response. Like I said, I get the response. Yeah. And if I gotta go in the rush, he'll pay for all my. Like, everything I'm like, send you money, give you some money to yeah, go in the room real quick. Me, whatever you gotta do, so your mom's but, the definition of a ride or die when it comes man. to you. That's, that's my right hand. That's why I'm hiding nothing from her. My mom know everything. It makes no sense anyway. Anything I do, any there I do anything. I'm the telling mommy because if this shit hit the fan, that's who's gonna be there. Facts. No bet. A lot of people, mom was just throw them under the bus in situations no, like mom that. Not doing that. She real gangsta. shit. She gangster. She not. She be trying to act like she not gangster no more, but she's still gangster. She love her kids so. What? Your only some... child? Hell no. Your she youngest? Four kids. She just had my baby sister was just born this year. Oh, so you the second to youngest? My mom old as hell and still be having baby. Well, she not old as hell. She's only forty, <laughs> but forty years old. Not still... old as hell. Damn, I'm uh, ten years away from forty years old. I'm not having no kids. Nigga, I'm nine years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say that, bro. Oh shit! Oh my god. That's old, young. That's old, young. Not old. Yes, it is, Not bro. That's when you start getting there. That's when you. That's when you get in there. You that's young, you but mature. you start. That's when you young, but you get in there. When do you feel like you get old? I just told you, forty. Forty? So you feel like by forty, you'll be old? Well, I feel like I'm forty right now. Damn, old. damn. Because when you forty, I money, feel old, when man. you forty, yo, like what's going? How old are you gonna be your oldest? Let me do the math. <laughs> question. It's nineteen years. Nineteen years. My youngest. Yeah, your oldest. Oh, my oldest. My oldest gonna be twenty three. Damn. Damn, bro. I'm 40, bro. <laughs> MJ gonna be 16. Damn, yeah. MJ's gonna be 12. When my 40? When I'm 40? Naomi gonna be almost 30. My oldest gonna be 23. My middle gonna be 22. My youngest gonna be 21. Damn. It's so simple math. <laughs> Naomi gonna be almost fucking 30. Hey, it's so simple math. I can't forget my kids' age because they bang, bang, bang. Damn, dog. I was wilding for So I they had, pretty much both gonna be kids that same three age. years in a row. Yeah, yeah. 2020, 2021, yeah, 
Lit, we about to yeah. be turned. Me and my daughter's about to be turned. They about to love me. Yeah, I'm about to be, be the, club? the best dad in the world. You gonna go to the club with your daughters? I can't wait till they get a little bit older again. I can't wait. You gonna go to the club with them? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the club with my daughters. I'm gonna be a, like the low key fun dad because I don't want them to be doing shit behind my back. What if they bring home a man that a guy that you don't approve of? A guy that I don't approve of. I don't know if it's a guy that I don't approve of. Like, you just see it. Like, you just see it. Because I'm Listen, saying, I'm with your experience, you're going to be able to see it. On game, I don't care about, like, I ain't gonna say I don't care about no street nigga, but I don't care about, like, about none of that extra shit. I just care about how you treat her. How you treat her? You feel me? Yeah. What if she's with somebody who's never going to be able to expand her horizons anywhere else and is going to keep her complacent to, to her that's what, physical well, location? That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to be on some shit. Like, I'm trying to raise my daughter to be so much of bosses, whatever nigga she deal with. Like, he don't even, like, affect her situation for her. She might fall in love a little bit, feel me? Be, like, emotionally attached to the nigga, but as far as, like, her goals and shit like that in life, like... So, basically, no nigga for that. Like, Loki, you're raising her not to be attracted to street niggas. <laughs> <laughs> shit. No, I get some street niggas right can't do it. But that was the right answer. street nigga that want to do yeah, it. Yeah, some street niggas can't do it. But that was the right answer, because, like, you have to... Like, yeah, you could be like, all right, well, I don't want my daughter attracted to no nigga that's not going to do nothing. It's like, whatever. But if she loved that nigga... Then I fuck it. Yeah, I'm I a, like, I, like I've been in that. I probably been in that predicament before. Like I was fucked up before, feel me, and I was I needed a female to hold me down so that I feel and I feel like that's real. I want I, I want my daughters to be real at the end of the day. I just don't want you to be on no shit like you I let your that. you let no nigga. I respect that. Affect your life as yeah. much as your goals and. But that was how saying, you but carry what, yourself and but shit when like does that. Real become complacent. All right, like, when nigga. That's what I'm saying. If the nigga doing you wrong, beating on you, I'm not going for no shit like that. It's time to move on. Or but even if, even if the nigga is... If he a good nigga, if he got pure attentions, and he a, the bummiest nigga in the world, no goals, nothing, man, I will hope my daughter to be a real female to hold him Elevate down and try to feel me, make him different. Like, I try to turn his life around. Because no much, funny shit, my girl made me feel different about a lot of shit, bro. But Fact. also, oh, bro. I want my daughters to not have it, but do it with as much as it makes sense. Because if you start to, even if I'm, when I'm in a situation where somebody got to help me out, right? If I got to move the girl, she got to help me out. I still have to give on my feet. That nigga ain't never doing nothing. If you helping that nigga and he only draining your pockets, I understand you love him, but you got to understand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's when it start affecting your life and your goals and shit like that, then it's time to move on. But it's not it's affecting that. Hold him down. Be sturdy. Be a real one. I'm I respect that. Don't leave him in the dirt because he wasn't raised the same way as you or he don't got the same goals as you, the same mindset. Try to try to change him. But if you don't want to change him, that's when you got to move on. But for me, I respect that. On some real shit. That's a real ass fucking answer. Yeah, hell yeah. Real shit. I'm I about to just tell my girl, oh, go find, try to find a lawyer nigga or a nigga that's an athlete nigga to know. Whoever but you love doesn't is... doesn't mean good. Whoever, that's what I'm saying. Whoever you love is whoever you love, yeah. gang. It is how, who it is as a person, oh, bro. You're just hoping that she don't love somebody that's going to be dragging her down the whole time. So you just trying to do your job as a dad in the exactly. meantime. Exactly. <clears throat> I ain't going to lie, being... nigga. Um, it, to me, it's a little pressure raising girls, you know? It's, it's a lot it of pressure. It's a lot of fucking pressure, my nigga. It is. Because there's so much that comes with it as their dad. As the dad, there's so much that comes with it, bro. And you're just hoping that everything that you... That's why I said earlier. I'm still trying to be better. Like, I'm still trying to be better. Yeah, I'm you want to be, you wanna at least be what you're teaching. I'm them. still learning a lot of shit, all that, feel me? That's you're growing, I mean. nigga. I guess that's honestly one of the perks of having kids young. Yeah, you get to grow with them. They you get grow, to grow with them. I'm growing with them, fool. Yeah. I'm growing with them. I mean, at any age, I think you... I mean, you grow with your kids, but you have more time. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm really, I'm literally growing with. Nah, he's yeah, literally yeah, growing yeah, with his kids. Different, yeah, it's different. I'm literally because life with really different. started when you got back out. That's when life reset it for you. Shit, like Seventeen, basically. yeah, that's when 20. life reset it for you. I turned eighteen like two months. Yeah, two months after I got out. Like, yeah, so that's when life really be like, I right, I gotta buckle down and really do shit differently. Sure. I know I got this going on, this going on, but now I got this going on. Mm-hmm. Real shit. Nigga, real shit, I'm proud of the outcome. That's what I said, was. like, uh, that's why at, like, 16, 17, I was feeling, like, 15, 16, 17, I was feeling, like, that's what I was feeling, like, invisible. Yeah, that life, was invisible. Because yeah. life ain't really hit, hit you, me yeah. yet. You feel me? Life hit you quicker than other people. Bro, I, I turned 17. When I was 17, I got shot. Then three months, two, three months later, I got with the jail. Damn. So shit was back to back. I'm like, yeah, ain't, I'm not invincible at all, gang. 
Damn, this shit is real. Yeah, awesome. so reality really did prove that you were not invisible. And then you had this, and then like, damn, you know, like I'm yeah. just, I'm just like, I, I'm just thinking about how the day I got, the, I will never forget this shit. I remember this shit forever in my life. The day I got shot, I posted some shit on my Snapchat. A wild, young and dumb nigga, I posted some shit, shit like, I done did so much shit to niggas in these streets, and no nigga never did nothing to me. I got shot that same day. And that was damn. That same day, gang. I got shot, gang. I posted that that morning. Where'd you get shot? In like, the head. You, in your head. In the head, bro. No bet. Universe fucking taught you a fucking lesson. And you actually learned it. <laughs> Real shit. Because you could have not been here to raise your kids. I swear to God, bro. If I already had one kid at the time. My, beard, my other beard was a Yeah, you could have been here and not. And you would not have had the blessings of your other kids. I swear to God. Damn. I would never forget that shit, bro. I will never forget. I posted that that day. In that day, my mom was telling me. Like, this when I was working at the time. I had a job. When I was at work, my mom had called me at work like, Cause this when I was outside, gang, fully off the porch, yeah. wilding, feel me? My mom called me like, can you just come home for one night? Come home for tonight, come come chill with me. Today. She probably had a premonition. I'm, hell no, I ain't coming home. I'm outside. She listened to your mom. I'm, then I told her, like, matter of fact, I'm gonna come home, but I'm still about to be outside for like a few hours, then yeah. I'm gonna come home. Went and outside, got happened. shot, gang. I'm like, yeah. she listened to my mom. She listened to your mom. I learned two lessons that day. She never tell, said, I told you so at any point? Not really. She <laughs> some shit like, like, she literally said, like, she told me, like, her point of view, the, like, her point of view of the story when it happened, she told me, like, somebody called, I forgot who called, I think my aunt. And she said, before my aunt even got to say a word out of her mouth, when she answered the phone, she said, I already know. Yeah. So she like, I already she know. She asked somebody to her that my was going to happen. She like, she said, I already know it's my son, huh? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, go to the hospital. That's why she told you I asked to go way. home. Bro, I'm like, yeah, that mother instinct real. Yeah, that's I real. Cat. Real shit. shit. That shit is crazy. Damn, man. Damn. That shit got me speechless. Yeah, it kind of did. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's it. After that, I'm like, yeah. That's what I know. Because when life show you. I gotta stop fucking around, bro. I can't be. When life show you what the fuck it is. Like, when like life, that. When life show you, like. Yeah, nah. This like is that. Exactly that's vivid is. as fuck, my nigga. Like, that's life a changing. Destiny. Yeah. Bro. To a, like. Life ending, it's like um, close bro, to death type situation. The old me used to really be just reckless, bro. Like, really on that invincible time, like I could do anything I want. Nothing could stop me. Whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. But that right there would fucking change a nigga's life. That shit feel like a big ass bus hit me. Like, bro. Nigga, you better tie yeah, it up. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Bro, I, I, back. It's because I'm a visual person and it's like I'm visually just seeing all this shit plays out in my head. I'm like, bro. I just felt it as a parent. I ain't even here cause that's just heavy, bro. Because when you when you had that, my mom used to do that shit to me all the time, like come inside, and I used to always think about that shit. And now, I mean, nothing never happened, but like, yo, just be like, yo, just don't go out, you know. Nigga, like I tell him, I used to tell know. myself that all the time. Like, I'm like, you know what? And I get see, all right, here's my rationale, right? Anytime shit didn't happen, I used to be like, it's because I didn't go out. Because I really believe just you, your energy interacting with other people's energy is the reason why shit start. So nothing started because those two energy did interact. So I literally just rationalize it with, you. it ain't happen because you ain't go out. I just used to always go out. So I was like, yeah, it's this way. You being a knucklehead. That's the same shit. thing. It's the same Hardhead thing. Hardhead make a soft ass. That's it what they sure say. do. And again, I never yeah. wanted to have that. That's what I really learned. Because in Jamaica, my mom used to beat me every time I ain't listen. <laughs> so... <laughs> I learned my lesson at a very young age to listen to my mother and her instincts because she usually know what the fuck she's talking about. Shout out to you, mom. I'm always listening no matter what. Shout out to mom, Real man. shit, man. Anybody got closing words? Because shit, what a way to fucking close out. Man, shout out to mama. I swear. Yo, yo. That's, that's, it. that's my, yo. That's my that's number one in the game. My that mama. might be the title of this episode. My mama and my grandmother. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to the mom. One. It's funny how the most powerful people that you see are women and now you have three powerful people that you're raising i swear it's funny how life becomes ironic in its own ways mm-hmm. on some real yeah, shit i love that shit where can they find you you can find me on instagram at buck 50 kai underscore tap in you know where to find us you have closing words shout out to weed and whiskey number one podcast in the world gang vax I love his energy, man. Shit, I love this nigga energy, man. I ain't gonna lie. You one of the most maturest, youngest niggas we had on here, dog. I'm so and I've seen the growth. I've seen the growth. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm definitely nice. proud of you. Nice. 
And I'm definitely he- excited to see where you'll be in the next three, five years, my nigga. Appreciate it. It's going to be great things that come, my nigga, because honestly, you have a lot of wonderful things going on, not just with music, but just with life going on, which the kids that you're raising you have a lot of wonderful things going on. And I'm just excited to see where the next couple of years is going to bring you and all the ex- success that's going to come with it as well, too. On some real shit, dog. Appreciate that, game. Right. Tune in, bitches. Uh, and if you don't, suck your mother. <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> <laughs>